Hello everyone, welcome to LICD Lecture 16D. Today we are going to design a non-inverting Smith trigger. So let us start. So design a non-inverting Smith trigger with the following specifications. Let me just, yeah. So the supply voltage is plus or minus 13 volts. The upper threshold point is at plus 6 and the lower threshold point is at minus 6. So basically we have to design a non-inverting Smith trigger for symmetric hysteresis. So the first step is uh, we assume that the value of saturation voltage Vsat is 90% of Vcc which is 90% of uh, 13 which is close to 12. So plus or minus Vsat is plus or minus 12 volts. Now since VUTP and LTP points are symmetric we consider either VUTP and LTP and proceed for the analysis. So let's consider VUTP. So VUTP will be given by the formula we have seen this in the last lecture. That is 16C in the lecture number 16C. Uh, that VUTP is given by the formula minus R1 upon R2 into minus Vsat. Here uh, VUTP is given as plus 6 and uh, minus Vsat is coming out to be around uh, 12. Right? So minus 12. So minus minus sign gets cancelled out. So you will get R2 upon R1 as 2. So R1, R2 will be twice of R1. We assume the value of R1 as 10k. So the value of R2 will be 20 kilo ohms. So here is my simple design which is complete. So my V in is applied to the non inverting terminal R1 and R2 are 20 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm. So this simple looking circuit is my non inverting Smith trigger. Now comes a reflection spot. So we'll switch over from OneNote PDF and go to LT Spy simulation and verify this numbers. Okay, so let us do that. So let me uh, minimize this a little. Yeah, so my circuit to my left and my right are my non inverting Smith trigger. Here we have given R2 as 20k and here R1 is around 10k. We have selected the OPAM as OP07. Supply voltage is plus or minus 13 as required. And here the input is at 10 volts peak, 100 hertz frequency. So now let us start simul uh, start simulating it whether and see whether we are getting plus or minus 6 or no. So we'll simulate, we'll plot V in and V out. Oh, here it is, very soon. So here this intersection is my V. So this number we can see, uh, let us take the cursor. Uh, this number should be close to plus 6. How much is this number right now? It is 6.4. That's because the plus or minus Vsat will be different. That's understandable. Here, my plus or minus Vsat, let's consider it as this is 12.05 and minus 12.05. Okay. Now let's check the lower threshold point. So lower threshold point will be when V in cuts the this point over here. So this will be uh, let me right click and check minus 6.37 so it's desired minus 6 we are getting minus 6.37 volts that's absolutely fine so these are the values which we are getting uh, when v in is 10 volts peak my plus or minus v set are uh, supposed to be 12 and minus 12 but we are getting 12.05 and minus 12.05 and v utp and ltp will be instead of plus or minus 6 we are getting 6.42 and minus 6. Point, uh, close to 42 minus 6.42 here we are getting. Uh, here we have seen that uh, we have assumed the value of uh, Vsat as 0.9 of 13 and 0.9 of 13 comes out to be 11.7. So we have approximated this number. Basically plus or minus Vsat should be 11.7 and we are getting this 0.3 difference and that's why we are getting the difference of uh, you know 0.4 in the VDUTP and LTP. So that's understandably fine. Now let's check the output uh, hysteresis curve actually which is V out versus V in. Okay, so this is my hysteresis curve as predicted. So this will be my plus Vsat point, minus Vsat. This will be my uh, V LTP and this will be my V UTP. So this was my desired uh, result. Now, uh, what is important is, let us concentrate on this now. Okay, so this is how we have verified with numbers. The non inverting Smith trigger with asymmetric hysteresis, how we can build up. So, what we can do is earlier, this uh, inverting terminal was connected to the ground. You can see over here, inverting terminal was connected to the ground. 
if we apply an external V reference DC voltage, we can shift this hysteresis symmetric from symmetric to asymmetric. So, oh, let me decrease a little. So, by adding the external reference voltage V reference over here in this diagram, we can shift the hysteresis curve either to the left or to the right. So, by applying a positive V reference, we can shift the hysteresis curve to the right. And by applying a negative, we can shift towards the left. So, let's see that right now the hysteresis curve is symmetric about zero. Let me add a positive voltage over here. So, I need to add a voltage. Let me put that voltage over here. Let me do that. And I need to cut this wire. And now I can join this like this. So, here I have applied my voltage, external voltage. V reference basically. Let me again connect the wire and this will go to the ground. So basically this is my V reference. Let's give a positive value of 1 volt. So what we have said, if we give the value of 1 volt, this hysteresis curve will shift towards the right hand side. So let's simulate and check. You see, you saw the hysteresis curve VUTP is more and VLTP is less. It has shifted towards the right hand side. And when we give a negative value, it will shift towards the left hand side. So we have given minus 1 volt. And when we simulate again, you see, in front of you live, that hysteresis curve has shifted to the left hand side. So this way, by adding an external reference voltage, V reference at the inverting terminal, we can shift the hysteresis curve to the left or to the right, and we can make it a asymmetric hysteresis. So that's it with the design of a non inverting Smith trigger. Next time, we'll start with another nonlinear application of OPAM. Until then, have a good day and thank you.